so this peaceful practice called Falun Dafa, okay, um, it helped millions of people got better health, okay, and mental peace. And uh, it was start. It started in 1992, and um, at in short seven years, it spread like wildfire. The government estimated about 70 million to 100 million people were practicing it. And so then the Communist Chinese Communist Party felt threatened. They ever since then they started to they outlawed the practice. When, they, when you say feel threatened, it's because so many people were involved? Yes, because so many people are practicing once, you know, they have the similar, one single idea or whatever. And it was more than, the practitioners amount were more than Communist Party members. So actually the, uh, the president then was Jiang Zemin. Jiang felt jealous actually, you know, that the, um, the founder was so popular. And you know there is like a hundred million people, you know, hundred million disciples who love him because he brought them better life. And so, anyhow, ever since then, they uh, the Chinese Communist Party started to persecute practitioners, murdering practitioners, um, selling their organs. So Ooh. yes, yes. Now, hold on a second. <laughs> so. First, first they went after the head, I and mean, first they went after the guy, the big guy, and what, what was his name? Um, Mr. Lee. Yeah. The, well, the founder. Yeah. Yeah, the founder was at the time he was in the United States. Oh, okay. He spread he spread the practice all in the worldwide, and this is free. Mm -hmm. Okay. So anyway, so uh, before you get into that, I'm just trying to get some steam. Mm -hmm. Now there's this whole thing about if you uh, stand on a dirt, you know, the earth, then you energize whatever they have it. So what's so this is just this is discipline for them to do this, or do they? I mean, no, no. The discipline is uh, that we have five different sets of exercises. It's very slow, you know, movement. Um, it it is like qigong, yeah, sure. and it helps you attain you know better health. And then also it has some um, mental um, sort of like a spiritual practice mm -hmm. where we. Yeah, you know, whatever practitioner does, based on truthfulness, compassion, and tolerance. Mm -hmm. So it's, you know we abide our you know living standard by these three principles. Give me this question. So <laughs> if it spread throughout the world and it was mm -hmm. a band or, or, or whatever decapitated in China, mm -hmm. does it keep? Does it go on? Does it continue it's other still, places? Yeah, it, it's still yeah yeah yeah. How many countries would you estimate is just just Asian, Western, uh, African, or uh, uh, South American? Uh, it was a. I, I don't know how many countries, it, but I know a lot, a lot, a lot. If you go onto the, the uh, website, okay, sure. um, even the website, there's, um, let's see, a lot of Oh, I see. They, they, okay, let me just ask this question because I see here mm -hmm. that they're in another position. So you hold a position for a certain amount of time and then you change? Oh, I see. Yeah, they just yeah, changed yeah. now. Yeah. So this is the second exercise mm -hmm. where there's only four positions mm -hmm. that you hold <coughs> for seven minutes. Mm -hmm. Each position. Okay, seven is yeah. a sacred number. You're good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. So anyhow, so we actually started this movement of um, trying to um, appeal to our um, officials, mm -hmm. government officials, you know, so, so NCZP mm -hmm. petition. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Okay. All right, and then this so is... So what, what do you think the end... I mean, if, if you... If the... Not if the government listened to you, but if... Yeah, what, what's the what's the path? I mean, what, what do you what do you think would happen? Yeah. I mean, on the way to trying to appeal to the government, you're, you're, mm -hmm. you're doing stuff along the way. I'm just... But hopefully to, we will... Um, you know, have you heard when there's... When there's injustice somewhere, there's injustice everywhere. Surely. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know who Surely. that is. Yeah. So... The, you know, um, China has, uh, or Chinese Communist Party has committed um, genocide, and they actually brought down the morals of the entire country. You know, people are afraid to st stand up, to speak up the truth, and uh, what happened? It brought back, you know, when one country has this kind of corrupted morals, it affects the whole world. Mm -hmm. So what we're trying to do, it's not only 
expose what the Chinese Communist Party is doing. But we're ho- hoping to elevate entire humanity's mor- morals standards. So that's our that's our okay. goal. Okay. okay, thank you so much. I don't want to put you on camera because I don't want you to be in trouble. It's going on my thank YouTube you. channel. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I probably would. You know. <laughs> no, no. Right. Well, be safe, okay. and uh, you know, you. I mean, you know, as they say, all power to the peaceful. Yes, it is. It's all coming from God. Yeah. Okay. All right. Take care. Right. All right. Yeah, it's happening in front of the library. They're on 40, what, what street is this? 42nd? No, not 42nd. 41st Street. 